Great Wall is the new film from director Zhang Yamo, if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. And this film is the collaboration between America and China to bring this epic film about two traitors played by Pedro Pascual and Matt Damon, who are looking for some black powder to trade when they stumble across this war between the Chinese army who have built this Great Wall to fend off against the opposing army, which is a bunch of CGI lizard things. And then Matt Damon and Pedro Pascal get involved in this war and stuff happens from there. I was actually kind of looking forward to this movie when that first teaser trailer came out because it actually looked like it had some potential. When the second trailer came out though, I kind of got a vibe of so bad that it's good kind of thing or just over the top in all the right ways. So I was still kind of excited for it. I was still looking for a somewhat fun popcorn entertainment of a time and it was really, really intensely mediocre. Like when I walked out of the theater, I had the same feeling I had walking out of Warcraft, but Warcraft is actually better than this movie because at least there's a consistent good thing about it. In this movie, there's really not that many consistent good things about it. There are some good things about this movie though, so let's talk about it real quick. First of all, the visuals, and I'm not talking about CGI, I'm talking about like sets, colors, costume design, that all looked very good. Like the costumes especially were visually very interesting. Like the whole Chinese army had a different color armor for whatever you were doing. Whether you had a spear and you were jumping off the wall with a bungee cord or if you were an archer, that all was very visually interesting. And I think if the entire movie was centered around this Chinese army, only them as the lead characters, then I actually would have liked it more because that was easily the the most interesting part, seeing how they operated. Especially the Commander Lin character. She was, in my opinion, the best character in this entire movie, which really, in, as soon as I get into my flaws, isn't really saying much. But still, her character really had potential to shine out of everything that happened in this movie. And I will say again, if this movie was about her or about this Chinese army, I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more. And the action scenes, they're okay. That's pretty much all I have to say positively about the movie and the action itself. So I guess we're gonna go into cons now. I found the action scenes in this movie very unfortunately bland. Like, I was watching stuff happen, and I was just not engaged at all. And I was really not engaged because I was really rooting for nobody. I found the Chinese army interesting, as I mentioned. I think Commander Lin had a good chance of being a good lead character, but they never focus on her. They focus on the wrong people, which is Pedro Pascal and, unfortunately, Matt Damon. In my opinion, these two characters, they kind of suck as leads. And this is Matt Damon. I was hoping that since Matt Damon is involved, then that means there's something special about this movie, right? It turns out I was entirely wrong. His role feels like a role he should not be allowed to do. Like, it feels like a role he would have done to start getting his name out, but he's just so well established as an actor that he just can't pull that off anymore. Actually, I'll give you one better. His role felt like it should have belonged to some actor who was on a TV show and was somewhat popular. The execution of this character was good. He's trying to find his place in the world. He's been fighting for all the wrong reasons, but now that he's here at the Great Wall, he's found his place. But in this movie, the way they decide to show him growing as a character, I mean, it's really hard to grow a character that A, you don't really care about to begin with because B, there's nothing really interesting about him besides he has some quippy one-liners with Pedro Pascal. <laughs> It also kind of sucks that Matt Damon does not know how to do a consistent accent because there's scenes where he's just talking like Matt Damon, but then all of a sudden he'll put on an accent and you'll be like, wait a minute, where did that come from? But then he'll stop doing that, then he'll do it again, and it's like, dude, have an accent or don't. I don't care. And Pedro Pascal was all right. I wasn't deeply annoyed by him. It's just his character was just so generic. Their friendship was just so generic. And it's so funny that they have so many quippy one-liners to show how good friends they are. But in this movie, it feels like generic buddy dialogue where it's just they say few words to each other. Most of them are just jokes and then they'll have some falling out later, but then they gotta learn to become best friends again. And also, Willem Dafoe, this also feels like a role he should not be allowed to do. Also, it feels like a role that should not have been in this movie at all, 
Like, he was obviously just there to cause some sort of divide between a couple of characters, I'll put it that way. But then, once you see how that plays out in the movie, you're just like, why did Willem Dafoe even want to do this, unless he's trying to pay off some debts or something? Honestly, I would have taken any character over these three. The Chinese army should have been the main focus, because they had the potential to be really interesting. They already were, as far as, like, visually interesting, seeing how they operated and stuff. Plus, you have Commander Lin, who is a much more interesting character than any of these guys, and she's not even developed the way she should be. There's even one generic character where he's such a wimp in the army, me, he's always getting picked on who has to learn to be a man through the course of the movie. I would have preferred having him as the lead role instead of Matt Damon. And to make matters worse, these uninteresting characters are trapped in an uninteresting and nonsensical plot. Like, okay, at first, it is kind of interesting. Like, there's monsters attacking the Great Wall, but what makes it uninteresting is the action sequences and also their explanation as to why they're attacking, which also leads into nonsensical route. We find out these creatures were created because of some comet landing on Earth, and now they decided to attack China every 60 years, so they have the Great Wall up to defend against them. And then they also say that if they destroy China, they're going after the rest of the world. Because apparently, the only way you can get to the rest of the world is going through China. That, y yes, that makes total sense. And these creatures, the Teotis, I think that's what their names were, because honestly, I'm kind of forgetting. The CGI for them, okay. It's so on and off. Like, at first, you'll show, like, one creature, and I'll be like, okay, that actually does look pretty good. You have these great, like, costumes and sets, and you have this thing. Okay, that looks cool. Then another one will show up, and then another one, and another one, and another one. Then they'll start piling on top of each other like it's World War Z, and that's when it looks completely Horrible. And speaking of horrible CGI involving these creatures, there's a scene where two characters are jumping from a building out into the, like, nowhere pretty much, and they show a shot of these two characters jumping in slow motion out this window, and you see these creatures, like, coming at them, and there's, like, an explosion. It looked like a shot you would see at some uh, movie theme park. Like, get in front of the green screen, you guys, and click. All right, we're going to print out the green screen effects, and here you go. That'll be $50. I was like, why did this get approved in this movie? That This looks so amateur. And also, I thought it was a wasted opportunity that these creatures only attacked, like, one portion of the wall. Since it is the Great Wall of China, you'd think these creatures would, like, attack, like, every part of it. Like, there'd be different stories taking place on, like, one side of the wall, and then over here, there'd be another battle going on, and then there's one side they're doing completely awesome but there's one side that's failing and these people have to run all the way over there to save them or something but no it's just this one side it's just this one area where they'll start toppling on top of each other then they'll occasionally get to the very top and Matt Damon will like shoot an arrow at it the creature will lunge and he'll go whoa and you'll get a 3d shot of it jumping right at you by the way don't see this in 3d it's a complete waste it's also kind of a waste that these creatures are just so similar. Like, they're all green, and they pretty much are all the same visually. I mean, there's one lizard that has, like, giant muscles. There's ones that have these weird neck shields. And the queen shows up, and she has, like, a thing sticking out of her head. But they, they're all green. They're all roughly around the same size. There's not one that could fly. There's not one that could breathe fire or anything. There's, there's nothing interesting about these things, except that, oh, they can claw at you. Like, okay, we've seen that before. You have an entire army of them. Is there not, are there none that are special, that stand out, that could create a fun action scene that could be a little different than what we've been seeing? Nah. I can't really say that I hate this movie, though, because there wasn't anything that offended me while watching it. It was just so mediocre. It felt like a movie I should have rented at Redbox, or maybe a movie I should have caught on TV, because the story is so uninteresting. You don't have interesting characters as the leads to get you hooked on this story. The creature CGI is so on and off that it honestly would probably only look good on a TV instead of a big screen, especially in 3D. 
Overall, guys, I'm going to give The Great Wall a C-. I think the direction is probably the best part about this movie, as far as, like, cinematography and colors and set design goes, and I honestly do think that the Chinese army should have taken over as the leads instead of Matt Damon, because they honestly had potential, and I will give them some credit for that. I didn't hate myself while watching, but at the same time, it could have been so much better. If it was just, like, an over-the-top fun action movie instead of a serious jumbled plot mess. But if you've seen The Great Wall, leave in the comments below of what you thought of it. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time. <laughs>